in this new adrenaline pumping thriller, you are uh, um, a marine rider named Cruz. So what was the biggest challenge uh, in making this character for you? I think the biggest challenge of playing Cruz for me was probably the physical aspect. Before this, I was just a yoga girl, you know, going to yoga class every day. Uh, and then I got this role and I had to turn it up a notch. And I was very fortunate that they trained me really well. I trained at a gym in LA called Unbreakable, where they got me really familiar with hand-to-hand -hand combat and started strength training with me. Um, I was wrestling grown men by the time I was done there. And then they sent me over to set where I was met by the incredible Jared Shaw, who had been a Navy SEAL for nine years. And he was a great source because any military questions I had, I, I could go to him as well. And we did an hour of strength training, an hour of weapons training, and an hour of stunt training with our amazing stunt team who made me look awesome. Um, five days a week. So three hours, five days a week leading up to, to the wow. shoot. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> really amazing. Yeah. So, uh, I think that um, inevitably um, a role can leave something to the actor that playing them. So did Cruz leave you something? Um, yeah. Uh, like maybe an attitude, a different kind of uh, dealing the situation? I will say this because with seven months of shooting, um, wow. I this was the first role, I would say, because it required so much physically and emotionally where I really stayed in it. And so I was a little bit spicier than usual. <laughs> it took me a couple months to, 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 to let it dissipate. Um, I laughed because my fiance would be like, hey, I'm talking to Lysla, not Cruz. Um, <laughs> so, but, but what Cruz really taught me, which I think is, is, is the most special of all and, and why I'm so thankful to have played this character is that I'm way stronger than I think. Um, I, I can be a big scaredy cat. And, and, and once I had to really dive in deeply and, and be such an incredible badass on screen, I, 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 I left feeling powerful. You have just told that uh, the role is very amazing and, and powerful, but uh, usually we, we are used to see men, I mean, in this kind of role, not female. And so now we have extraordinary women in this uh, new work of Paramount, uh, of um, Paramount Pictures. So uh, do, you, do you think, in your opinion, the wind is changed, definitely? for us, for, for the female role? I think it's looking good. And especially when it comes to diversity as well, what I love about this show, Lioness, is that we have three generations of powerhouse female who are the best at the, their game. And two of those leads are Latin women. So that's really, really incredible to see, especially in a space where usually, you know, you would only have one Latin woman or, you know, kind of one of each kind. And uh, our show's not like that at all. We have so much diversity and we have incredibly strong women. And I think it's going to be for make for a really engaging watch. I'm agree. <laughs> um, I, I, re I read that you that you always dreams uh, to be an actress. Uh, so do you remember the spark that created this dream? It is maybe a movie or... It's funny. I um, didn't know that acting could be a job. I just love to imitate people. And I would put on performances for my family and make them watch me. Um, the first movie that I uh, remember just kind of being little and just I couldn't stop staring at the screen was Julia Roberts and Aaron Brockovich that really inspired me. I love strong women. But I was thinking the other day, and I think this is so special, my very first acting job was on a show called Covert Affairs. I didn't have any speaking. Um, it wasn't a speaking part. It was a flashback part. But I played an undercover spy. And so this has just been such a full circle moment because, you know, this is my big dream come true job. And it's essentially very similar to my first acting job. So it's a little bit prolific and uh, on, a, on a much larger scale, obviously. 